inertial navigation systems. We have the accelerometers, we have the gyroscopes, we put them together and uh, we have now the uh, software that now is an inertial navigation system, INS. So an INS is an autonomous device, is going to provide three-dimensional position, velocity and attitude information. Uh, what we have is the measurements of a specific force and that's going to be the translation and angular deviations. These are the, uh, the orientation or the attitude. Okay, the measurements will be relative to a fixed non-rotating coordinate system. That's a local coordinate system. And of course, we have the specific force it comes from the accelerometer. Angular deviation comes from the gyroscope. As we have seen, the, the inertial sensors, the inertial navigation system sensors are the accelerometers and the gyroscopes. The accelerometers will give us a translation of acceleration plus gravitational force. We need to, uh, to take that into account uh, to uh, then to separate just the actual acceleration of the vehicle. From the acceleration, we can integrate to produce velocity and position in the inertial frame. Uh, the gyroscopes will be giving us the orientation of the inertial platform, okay, and, uh, and uh, they will have to, uh, uh, they're going to be attached to the platform uh, with a precise known orientation relative to accelerometer. So this is something that we're going to see in source of errors, uh, the proper alignment uh, is necessary. So uh, there are different types of accelerometers. Uh, we may have pendulum, uh, vibrating beams, and now we have the silicon microelectromechanical, or MAMS. They all have uh, a, uh, different implementations of the same principle. We, uh, in terms uh, concerning the gyros, again, there are different implementations uh, of the same principle. Okay, the spinning wheel is the mechanical gyro that uh, we usually uh, talk about. Uh, there are different types of gyros uh, that, uh, that uh, use the Sagnac effect, like the ring laser gyro and the fiber optical gyro. And uh, there are other uh, gyros that uh, use the Coriolis force uh, like the MAM gyros and the harmonic resonator gyro. So inertial measurement unit, uh, cluster of accelerometers, gyroscopes, platform and associated sensor electronics. Uh, there is need of initialization or an alignment in the sense that uh, uh, the initial position, velocity, orientation of the platform uh, is required. Uh, and uh, of course, the quantities that we are looking at are position, velocity, and orientation. And there are two types of implementations. Uh, we have the so-called gimbal systems and the strap-down systems. The gimbal systems, the uh, inertial measurement unit, is isolated, isolated from the vehicle's attitude motions uh, by a uh, assembly of concentric rings. They're called the gimbals. Uh, currently, uh, the systems uh, use a, the concept of being strapped down to the vehicle, which means they're mounted directly to the vehicle, and they're called the gimballess systems. This is a very interesting uh, block diagram of a strap-down system. We have the three gyros and the three accelerometers, which are attached to the, uh, to the body of the vehicle. And each one are given their quantities um, uh, with respect to the body fixed coordinate system. 
uh, the accelerometers give the accelerations with respect to x, y, and z. Uh, the gyros are going to be giving us the quantities, the angular quantities, that we're going to be used to form the attitude matrix. So the attitude matrix then uh, is used to rotate the accelerations in such a way that the final accelerations that will feed navigation equations are accelerations along the north, the east, and the up components of the local coordinate system. Though so, uh, the final product, the final uh, estimates, will be position and velocity of the moving platform. Uh, there will be also the estimates of the, uh, the torques that uh, may be affecting the gyros, because the gyros, uh, as the time passes by, the Earth rotates, so there is going to be a slight uh, <laughs> variation in the orientation of the local coordinate system. And uh, so that would be a use of information uh, that can go back to the attitude matrix.